now that we have created the database, we can start creating our application. Before we start doing anything serious, let's create a bare application, just the shell of an application with no functionality. Let's create that and run it. Okay, so to do that, we get into Apex and then we get into Application Builder. Right, that's the application builder, the app builder. And once we're in the app builder, in order to create an application, we can click create, or we can just click create here. Then we're going to get some options. We select the new application option, because that's what we are doing. We're creating it from scratch. We are not using a spreadsheet or doing anything else. And then it asks us for some information. We give a name to the application, and then we say create the application. All of the other things, we just choose the defaults. You can take a look at them. But at this point, there's really no need to change any of those things. And here we choose uh, application uh, Apex accounts. That is, when you run the application, it's going to ask for a username and password. Okay, so it's saying, what do you want to use? We'll just use our Apex username and password. Okay, so once you do that, you get this base bare application, and the application has a basic page and it also has a login page with the login functionality okay so you can run the application directly now and once you run the application it might come out like this for you right because we gave amazing.com as the name of the application so that's what comes up on the left hand side uh, you should see a navigation bar and it just says home and as we keep adding features to the application this will fill up <coughs> Okay. Now, in case this navigation bar is not visible, all you have to do is to click on those three lines and the navigation bar will become visible at that point. <coughs> okay, so that's just your bare application. 